Hi, I hope you have been doing well. I had a different video planned for this weekend, but I have acquired a new obsession and if I don't talk about it, I will burst. Um, I was gonna leave this until my July planner update where I flip through all of my notebooks anyways, but again, I'm just way too excited. So this is my new journal and I have called this my my little notebook of curiosity and I stuck on this um a creative mind vinyl which I thought was really fitting and as the title suggests this is where I have been just documenting my little bits of information and things that I have been curious about. Quickly about the notebook itself, this is the Loistrom Pocket E6 soft cover lilac dot grid pages. I think those are all of the adjectives I can use. And as you can see, this was kind of like a collaboration pre-order from last year, I believe. Just to quickly address it, um, I will not be doing another run of these, but I do have some leftovers from the pre-order that we hosted and I will put those up on the website at some point. Let's flip through my new notebook. I honestly don't even know what I can talk about. <laughs> so this uh, comes with kind of like a table of contents, just two pages. I just write down the page number and I made these like super, super tiny doodles of the topic. I think it is so cute. Um, and then I write down obviously what the topic is next to that. I really don't know why I had so much trouble doing this correctly. Like for example, I mixed up two of the topics and then I missed page 27. So I had to like write it down at the bottom. I don't know what's wrong with me, but you know, embrace um, all of the imperfections. As you can see by the topics, it is a very random assortment. We have apricots, nectarines, ultramarine paint, avocados, yogurt, sushi, light bulbs, apples, sunscreen, skunks, broccoli, yellow ochre, and Payne's gray. And I suppose I will just flip through all of the pages now. <laughs> so I started this on July 9th and today is July 19th. So yeah, it's only been 10 days and I just like filled all of this. If I wasn't so busy with like design work, I would probably have finished this journal by now. But yeah, I, I basically just start off by doodling something to do with the topic, in this case, an apricot. If I have a personal anecdote, I will write it here. And then I just start listing out bullet points. For the sketch, I have just been using my Tombow dual brush markers. And if I am feeling fancy and I want to add a little bit of shading, I have just been using my, where's the name, Karen Dash pencils, as well as a Faber-Castell Polychromos and the Prismacolor colored pencils, just a variety of different ones. As for the writing itself, I have been using the Sarasa, uh, I think this is called the Grand, it's like a metal body. And my lovely friend Jean, she sent this to me from Japan, so this is super special. And I used it because this is like the perfect color match. This was my page about apricots, and the reason why I was curious about this was um, I was at the grocery store and there was a notice near the stone fruits that there was like an issue with sourcing local apricots and other stone fruits. I was curious about it and after doing some searching, I found out that in British Columbia, I think Abbotsford and Okanagan, there was a cold snap that destroyed uh, all of the stone fruit crops. So that is why we don't have BC local stone fruits this year and for the following years to come. Anyways, I don't, I don't know if anybody else cares about this. So that is my apricot page. Then we have nectarines, which I also love nectarines. As I noted, it is my second favorite stone fruit after plums. And I learned that nectarines differ from peaches by one gene, which is what makes their like skin glossy and smooth over the fuzzy little fibers of the peach. And then this is when I found the City News article about the British Columbia stone fruit shortage. So yeah, 
This is my page about nectarines. Then I have a page about French ultramarine. Even though art and design is basically my career now, I never went to art school nor studied art, so I just I don't know much about the specifics. So I'm trying to learn a little bit more of the technicalities myself. And yeah, I I don't know, I guess I started with wanting to learn about the French ultramarine paints. I did this kind of swatch thing with the Windsor Newton French ultramarine watercolors. Oh, I posted about this on Instagram and TikTok already, and I got several people asking me why I only wrote on the right page. Typically, I write on both sides of the notebook paper. The reason why I only am doing the right page is because this is a gel ink, and I find that, um, you know, if I write it here and then I flip it over and I write on the left page, the ink kind of transfers over. This can easily be solved if you had a pencil board or if you just like stick a piece of paper underneath, but I'm, I'm too lazy to do that. So it is just one page for now. Okay, let's keep going. This one took up two pages. Um, this was my uh, section about yogurt and I wrote, yo, Gert. I was very pleased about that. And here I wrote down some notes about various different types of yogurt, like Greek yogurt, skier, kefir, uh, French, Australian, lactose-free. This journal is very much just for me. I don't care about messiness or grammar, stuff like that. And it's just a way for me to learn a little bit more about like simple things in my daily life. Okay, next section is avocados, which I eat basically every single day. Most of my notes here is about the Haas avocado. Okay, so this took up two pages. Uh, oh yeah, I was really curious about why certain avocados I buy just like never seem to ripen. And again, like it's just one of those things that I was always curious about, but I never like bothered to learn about it. So those are like the kind of things that I, I want to put into this journal. Next section is about sushi. I wrote about all of the different types of sushi and sashimi, which is technically not a form of sushi because it doesn't involve rice. And I also made some notes about wasabi. Then we have uh, a few pages about light bulbs. I Why was I curious about light bulbs? Oh yeah, I drew a light bulb for one of my sticker designs, different types of light bulbs and what they're best used for. Um, also like how to measure like the different temperatures and brightness. And then after I posted about this on Tik, uh, no, not TikTok, Instagram, a curious reading cat, they commented two fun facts about light bulbs, uh, something about the shape and the German word, which means glow pair. I wrote glow bear. What? That makes no sense. Glow pear. Um, so yeah, I just had to put these fun facts in the empty spaces. The next section was about Payne's Gray. This was also kind of continuing my color pigment exploration. And Payne's Gray is probably my favorite, favorite, favorite watercolor tube to get. And every time I try a new watercolor brand, I always get Payne's Gray because it's different for every every brand. And I never really knew like why and why I'm so drawn to Payne's Gray. So again, I decided to do a little um, dive into the history of Payne's Gray. So yeah. The next section is about apples. I wrote down some general notes and the different types of apples and their fl flavor profiles and what they are best used for. Um, and then, as you can see, I had a lot of empty space, so I wanted to write down some bonus notes about Apple, the company, but then to be honest, I got really bored reading about that. So that is my only snippet about Apple, the company. Then I have a section about sunscreen, and I don't know what that is. Probably crumb of food. I'm sorry, that was kind of gross. I just think it is so amazing that 
you can apply something kind of like a lotion that will protect you from sunlight, which is, I don't know, it just blows my mind. So yeah, this is my page about sunscreen. Then I have a page about skunks. I was curious about this because I had not seen a skunk for the first, how old am I? 23, 23 years of my life. And I recently just saw or encountered two within a span of like a few weeks, which was kind of crazy to me. I was a little bit disappointed by this because a lot of the websites were like top, top five facts about skunks. Um, top 10 interesting things about skunks and i typically don't like those sort of websites because it's really boring to me i i don't want to just like read facts i want to get to know kind of like the overall picture and some of the details so i d i didn't get too much insight about skunks unfortunately so if you have any interesting facts about skunks let me know because i still have a little bit of space yo i'm brock Yo, I'm Lee. This is my section about broccoli, uh, which is one of my favorite vegetables. And I just, I felt like there was more to the story than just broccoli being a good vegetable. Here are my notes about broccoli. And I, I didn't know that there were so many different types of broccoli and uh, I, I got really excited about this. For example, I didn't know that the broccolini was a hybrid of the typical broccoli and a Chinese broccoli. And I was really confused because I was like, what the heck is a Chinese broccoli? Like I'm, I'm from China and <laughs> I've, I've never heard of a Chinese broccoli before. And turns out it is um, the gay land vegetable, which is also, I think, similar to kale. Um, but I guess another name is Chinese broccoli. Okay, I'm getting a little hyper. Um, more notes about broccoli, different types of broccoli. Cool. And then I think this is the last, yeah, this is my last page about yellow ochre. Again, a part of my color exploration series. And yellow ochre is one of my most used colors as well. Whenever I'm working on a painting and I feel like something needs a little bit of fixing, I tend to turn to yellow ochre for some reason. That is basically it for now. I had a few people ask me if this is like a commonplace journal or something. I have heard a lot about commonplace journals. I haven't really, I haven't really looked into it like specifically what it is, whether there are rules or something. Um, so I guess my answer is not really. Like this is just a notebook where I'm writing down random things that I, I'm searching up. That is all I have for this week. I know it's a really sporadic and random video, but uh, I will I will be back next week with a good old plan with me. I hope you have a great day. Bye.